Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am coming to you with my entire handbag collection video. I am um, going to go through all of my handbags, including my luxury handbags as well as my non-luxury handbags, and I'm going to go in order of brand, um, starting with Louis Vuitton since that is the first luxury handbag brand that I ever purchased a, um, a bag from. So I'm going to jump right in and get started. I'm going to try to go through these as quickly as I can so I leave enough room at the end to do some modeling shots with each of my handbags. So the first luxury handbag I ever purchased, as I said, is from Louis Vuitton, and it is none other than my Speedy 30 in the monogram print. This is the classic Speedy without the strap, and I absolutely love this bag. I purchased this as a belated 40th birthday present to myself, and she is in excellent condition, and I absolutely love this bag. The next luxury handbag that I purchased from Louis Vuitton is none other than my Neverfull in the MM size, and again in the monogram print. This bag is a great tote bag, perfect size for me for work, for travel, and um, just as an everyday bag. It's not too big, not too small. Absolutely love the MM size. And I do have the newer model, but I have since you can see I've got a Samorga organizer in there right now, but I have since sold um, the little pouch that came with the bag since I really didn't use it all that much. Um, and I'll show you why next. The next luxury bag that I purchased from Louis Vuitton is none other than the Pochette NM or New Model. And again, I went with the monogram since at the time I was obsessed with monogram and just wanted every single bag that Louis Vuitton made in monogram. Um, but this is the bag that I use inside my Neverfalls and um, I use it, it, it's actually sold as an SLG, but I use it as a bag, sometimes with the strap that came with it and sometimes with the adjustable strap that I purchased from Louis Vuitton to wear it crossbody and I will show you that in my modeling shots. The next Louis Vuitton bag that I purchased is none other than my Speedy 30 in the Damier Ben print. And I love this bag. It is the perfect all weather bag. It too is in the classic handheld style, which I do prefer in the size 30. And um, this bag is just a wonderful bag for work, for travel, for every day. Um, perfect, perfect size handbag. And the next handbag that I purchased from Louis Vuitton is of course the Neverfull in the Damier Ben print. Um, why not have two of a good thing? I said to myself, since I really loved my first Neverfull so much, this is also in the MM size. This is also in the newer style, but I have since um, sold the pouch that goes with this one. And um, this is a great bag, not only because it is um, it has the treated leather and you can use it in the rain and in the snow, but also because the print on this is just so understated and goes so well with so many outfits, especially in my kind of work uniform, I'll call it. It's not really a uniform, but I do dress um, pretty, I guess, corporate casual for the office, and this goes so well with so many of those outfits. So um, absolutely love this one. And I can't remember if I purchased this with my Neverfull or after, but of course I had to get the um, Pochette NM also um, to go along with my other Damier Ben bags. The next handbag I purchased from Louis Vuitton will not come as a surprise. It is, of course, my Speedy 30 in the Damier Azor print. And I have it with this little luggage tag that I got from Lillian at Louis Vuitton and I absolutely love. And this is just such a beautiful bag for the spring and the summer. This one is the newer model, so it has um, the thicker, uh, chaps here and it has the treated leather on both sides of the little pole. Um, I think those are the only kind of major differences on the outside of this bag, but it's a beautiful bag. I'm so happy to have the trifecta of Speedies since I do use um, my Speedies quite a bit. And my next Louis Vuitton bag, um, there is a theme going here, is none other than the Neverfull in the MM size. I purchased this handbag in the spring of, I think it was 2000. 15 um, and I got a ton of use out of it that spring and summer and since then I have not used this bag quite as much and I definitely intend to grab for it more this spring and summer. And next up from Louis Vuitton is none other than the Pochette NM in the Damier Azur. This bag is wonderful. I think this has got uh, quite a nice little patina going and, and I have used this bag so much going on um, kind of vacation getaways 
long weekends, that kind of thing, going to the beach, and I absolutely love it. I use it with my crossbody strap as well as with the little strap it comes with. And I should mention that the Pochette NM is such a great bag crossbody for when you travel because you can kind of just sling it on and um, it doesn't have a lot of weight to it, but you can carry everything you need on your day-to-day -day travels, and I absolutely love these guys. My next Louis Vuitton handbag that I purchased is the Pochette Matisse, and I have it again in the monogram print. This is such, such, such an awesome bag. I had no idea how much I would grow to love this bag. It is the perfect size for carrying kind of your day-to-day -day essentials. It's great for travel. It's great for every day. It's absolutely beautiful. It's really versatile since you can wear it um, just holding it by the little handle like this, or there is a strap that comes with it that I just have inside my bag right now. I do keep it stuffed, um, and that allows you to wear it crossbody, which I will show you in my modeling shots, but um, absolutely love this bag. I usually put my phone in this back pocket, and um, I just think this is one of my best purchases from Louis Vuitton. My next handbag purchase from Louis Vuitton is actually not a handbag, it's a travel bag. It is my keep all in the size 45. I have this bag stuffed right now. It too has my initials on the luggage tag. I absolutely love this bag. I love that I got it in the 45 because I can use it quite easily. Um, for travel just for kind of a long weekend escape, which is really what I wanted this bag for. And um, I love that I got the bandolier version because it allows me to carry it on my shoulder because this bag, even in the small size, does get quite heavy. Um, I have not yet gotten any stains on my vaquetta, which I cannot believe because I have really taken this bag on quite a few trips, roughed it up, thrown it in the back of the car, and didn't even really think about it, but it is in perfect condition and I absolutely love this bag. One of my, another one of my best purchases from Louis Vuitton. My next handbag purchase from Louis Vuitton is my Neverfull in the GM size. This is my only GM size Neverfull. I purchased this also for travel and I absolutely love it for travel. I do think this bag is a little bit big on me for everyday use. I thought I would use it in the office. I tried it a few times but I find that it is just a little bit too large for me, but I like that I can use it when I need it and when I'm carrying more things. Um, this too is in the newer model. I have a um, Samorka organizer inside and um, I generally will keep my Neverfull stuffed with either Samorga or some pillows or something um, to help them kind of keep their shape, but I absolutely love this bag. My next Louis Vuitton handbag purchase is my Alma in the PM size. This is also, again, in the monogram print, which you can probably tell is my favorite print uh, from Louis Vuitton. I have not been talking about where all of my bags are made, and I'm starting to remember this now, but this one happens to be made in France. Um, I don't have a whole lot of bags made in France, so the ones that I do have are very special, and I absolutely love her. She does not yet have any stains on the vaquetta. I have not used her as much as I really should, and so I am intending on taking her out a lot this spring. She is the um, handheld style. You can purchase a strap to wear it um, on your shoulder, but I prefer this as just a beautiful handheld bag. It's an absolute timeless classic bag from Louis Vuitton, and I love my Alma PM. And getting near the end of my Louis Vuitton bags, my next Louis Vuitton bag that I purchased, I purchased last year in March when I went to Ireland, and it is my Noe BB in the monogram print. This bag also is in excellent condition. Um, I have not yet managed to got, get anything on the vaquetta. I love that it has the long strap so you can wear it crossbody or just as a long shoulder bag, which is how I prefer to wear her. And she is also made in France. And finally, the last of my Louis Vuitton bags is my Speedy 25B, and I absolutely love this bag. I love this bag in this size with the strap to wear as a long shoulder bag or as a crossbody bag. It is just a really, really cute little bag and carries way more than you can imagine for a bag this size. Um, it really holds a ton and is a great bag for travel. It's a great bag for day to day. Um, you can see I have not used it enough. It still has some wrinkles in it and I am planning to get a lot more use
use out of this as soon as the spring comes and we have less kind of snowy rainy weather um, but I absolutely love her and so happy to have the 25 in my collection I will say that I was very pleasantly surprised by the 25 the functionality of this bag how much it carries and um, how comfortable of a bag it is so I'm really really in love with this newest purchase from Louis Vuitton and getting into my Chanel bags now, I'm gonna start with my first handbag that I purchased from Chanel, which is technically not a bag, but I use it as a bag, and it is my wallet on chain in the black lambskin leather with the silver hardware, and I absolutely love this bag. I still remember taking this bag, or going to pick up this bag, and I just was jumping for joy. I was dressed um, in like, leggings and loungewear. I was at home, no makeup, um, actually a little sick when I got the call that this bag was in and I ran out to Neiman Marcus driving like a maniac um, to go get her and I was just so excited to have the first Chanel that has ever made it into my house. So um, just really, really thrilled to have her and it remains my most used of all of my Chanel bags. Um, she is made in, I'm not even sure where she's made, she's made in Italy. <laughs> um, and she's in great condition, especially considering, considering all I've put this bag through. Um, I mainly wear this as a crossbody, but you can also double up the strap and use it just as a small shoulder bag. I've taken her to weddings. I've taken her out mostly in the evenings, just going out um, when I want to be hands-free, and I absolutely love this bag. Cannot say enough about my Chanel walks. The next Chanel handbag that I purchased was my classic flap in the size medium with the black lambskin leather and the silver hardware. I got this bag pre-loved for such a great deal and I am so amazingly happy with this bag. The condition of it, it still looks amazing. Everything that people say about lambskin, I think they're crazy. I mean, you can scratch it easier than caviar, but I just prefer, way prefer the look and the feel of it um, to caviar. That's just my personal opinion. Um, but I love this bag. I have been using it recently. I actually have it stuffed right now with my new pouch inside um, and a bunch of other things, but I don't know if I can get that on camera but um, have been really loving this bag and using her quite a bit more than ever recently. And um, it is just a timeless classic that I'm so happy to have in my collection. My next Chanel handbag is another pre-loved bag that I ordered from an online um, seller. And it is right here. It is the beautiful, timeless, classic flap in the size medium in the beige lambskin with the silver hardware. And this bag was also in really great condition. There's just a little bit of a dent going on in the bottom of the bag, but aside from that, um, it was a small price to pay to get this bag for just over probably half the price of what it cost to buy it brand new. So I was really thrilled to get this bag into my collection and she is an absolute timeless beauty. She's got the double flap and um, here she is on the inside. I do have it stuffed, but you can just kind of get a good feel for what she looks like. She too is made in France and I absolutely love this bag. And again, this is in the lambskin leather and there is no sign of wear and I have not babied this bag. I've taken it, her out quite a bit in the spring and summer and um, she absolutely looks great. So love, love, love my Chanel classic flaps. And the last of my Chanel handbags is of course my Red Walk. I purchased this last year. I absolutely love this bag. It is in the black lambskin leather with the silver hardware. Um, I purchased this, I think, I can't remember if it was off of eBay or Tradesy, but I think it was off of eBay. Um, and it was in like new condition and the woman who has was selling it um, actually was very sad to part with it but um, needed the money for other things and I can absolutely appreciate that. Um, she is made in Italy and she was in such great condition and I love having this little pop of color and again I just think the walk is such a functional bag. My next luxury bag is my one and only Gucci bag. It is the Soho Disco bag in the black pebbled leather with the gold hardware and I love this bag. I have thought about selling it because I haven't been using it quite as much as I probably should but I kind of have been going back and forth about it because it is such a functional bag but as you will see I have a very similar bag in another style or another print from a 
non-luxury designer that I tend to reach for even more than this bag, but um, this is definitely a timeless classic uh, from Gucci that I am on the fence about right now. And my next designer handbag comes from Saint Laurent, and this is the Saint Laurent tote bag in the black leather with the gold hardware. And I love this bag because it's just so minimal, understated. I am using it right now for work, so I've got some of my work stuff just lying inside there. But I absolutely cannot get enough of this bag. It has held up really, really well, and I am thinking about getting another one. Sorry, everything is kind of shifting around the way it's hanging out in there without my computer. Um, but I can't get enough of this bag, and it is just the perfect work bag. The next handbag I have in my collection is my Longchamp Le Pliage, and this is in the size large. This is the tote bag that I purchased for when I travel. I like to keep this folded and take it inside my suitcase as an extra bag or a bag that I would need maybe if I'm going to somewhere where I'm gonna to go to the beach or the pool. And um, it's just such a great carefree bag and very lightweight and easy to just stick in your suitcase and forget about it and um, you'll have an extra bag to carry things home. The next two designer bags I have in my collection, I picked up at the Saks Off Fifth Outlet and they are from Furla. They are the Furla Julia bag and I have this one in the beautiful blush pink, which was the first one I purchased. and then and I loved it so much I ended up going back and getting the black one but I love these bags because they are just so easy to grab and go you can wear them as a um, crossbody as well as a long shoulder bag they have these beautiful kind of light gold hardware gold chains and um, they're really easy to carry they fit probably about the same amount that fits into the Chanel mini square so I'm just thrilled to have these bags and can't get enough of these little cuties the next handbags I have in my collection that are twinsies are my Eva bags from Teddy Blake. I have the black pebbled leather as well as the gray vintage leather. These are both the 11 inch um, Eva bags and I absolutely love these. They are a great way to familiarize yourself with what it might be like to have <laughs> a certain other bag that these resemble and um, they're just absolutely beautiful and um, great quality for the price point for anyone who is interested in purchasing these bags, I definitely highly recommend them. The next bag in my collection is one that I picked up from J. Crew, and it is this, the Signet bag. I have it in the black leather with gold hardware and the leopard print. I absolutely love this bag. And this is the bag that has been giving my Gucci Soho Disco a run for the money because this bag can actually hold a little bit more than my Disco bag. Um, it has better organization inside the bag and um, um, I just don't worry about it when I carry it. It has remained in really, really great condition and it is just as stunning on. My next handbag is from Banana Republic and it is this pebbled leather tote. Um, I'm not sure what the name of this is, but it's just a very sort of plain tote. It's got four feet on the bottom. It's really lightweight and really like soft and squishy. It's kind of got the suede interior, snap closure on the top and um, it's just a really easy handbag and one that I keep around for when I want something that is a tote but I don't wanna to have to worry about it at all and um, it's just a really great, simple, minimal bag. My next handbag was also purchased at Banana Republic but comes from the brand August of LA and this bag is a clutch that I have only used a few times but I really love it. It is. As you can see, this animal print, it's really soft and squishy. It's a great bag to use actually inside of a bag if you just need a pouch. But I just love the details on this bag. It has this zipper pull that says August, and it's just, again, very minimal, but um, something that really jazzes up an outfit and something that I love to take out in the evenings when I'm wearing like an all black outfit and I just want a little pop of animal print. And so really, really love this guy. And the last handbag I have in my collection is this little crossbody that I picked up at H&M. I was really using this quite a bit this past um, 
fall and winter, get it coming into the winter as just a bag that I could throw on and take with me like when I'm going to a concert or when I'm going out and I don't want to carry anything that um, I'm too worried about losing. Um, this is a great bag for that. I think I paid like $10 or something for this bag. It's got really nice gold hardware and it's just a really simple understated um, easy, to, easy to use, easy to wear type of handbag. So really, really love this guy. So that is it for the handbag overview portion of the video. I am now going to adjust the camera so I can show you how these look on me. And for reference, I am five foot three and dressed very casually today.